Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this um, cape with the collar on it. Um, it's really pretty easy. It's made with the V-stitch. And you can adjust it and make it longer or shorter depending on how you want. Um, I use the homespun yarn, Lion Brand homespun, and it's like a bulky yarn. And for that, you're going to need about 600 yards, give or take. But if you use a thinner yarn, you might need more, I'm not sure. But for the yarn I used, it was approximately 600 yards. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this project, I'm using Lion Brand Homespun, which is that wavy looking yarn. It's, um, it's an acrylic bulky yarn. And the color that I'm using is Fiesta, but you can use any color that you'd like. And I'm going to be using a size K. Which is six, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start out with a chain of sixty-seven. That's what I started with, but if you want to make it uh, bigger or smaller, the stitch is done in a multiple of two plus five, which means your beginning chain amount needs to be a multiple of two, it needs to be divisible by two, and then you just add five more for the base chain. But I started out with a chain of 67. We're going to be working B stitches. So we're going to work a double crochet in the fifth stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So count over one, two, three, four, and the fifth stitch you want to double crochet like that and then we're going to chain one and go back into the same stitch and do another double crochet like that so that's your um, V stitch it's a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet now you want to skip one stitch and in the next stitch, we'll work another V stitch. So just yarn over and double crochet, chain one, and double crochet again back into the same stitch. Like that. And that's another V stitch. And you can see it's kind of got the V shape. Okay, and then you want to skip the next stitch, and then you want to put a V stitch into the next stitch. So double crochet, chain one, go back in and double crochet again. And that's the pattern that we're going to repeat to the end of the chain. Skip one stitch. And then V stitch into the next. Chain one, go back in and double crochet. So I'm just going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of my chain. Okay, when you make it to the end and you'll have two stitches left. You want to go ahead and just double crochet, skip one, and double crochet into the last stitch. I know if you're using this yarn, the stitches were probably kind of hard to see, but now it should get a little bit easier. Okay, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and that counts as a double crochet. And we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to be working in the chain one spaces of each of the V stitches. So I'm going to go into, you can see this V-stitch right here. I'm going to go right in here and I'm going to do another V-stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and go right through that space. And double crochet. Chain one. And go back through and double crochet. Like that. Now I'm going to jump to the next V-stitch and the space in between. And do another V-stitch right in that space. So double crochet chain one, right back through and double crochet, like that, 
Again, I'm just going to jump right over to the next V stitch. And in that space, do another V stitch. So that's the repeat for this row, is I'm just going to work all the way down the row doing one V stitch in the chain one space of the previous V stitch. So right here, just jump over and do another V stitch right through that space. And you want to do this until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I've made it to the end of my second row. And now what you want to do is just double crochet into the top of this chain here that's on the end. And doing these double crochets on the end like that, that's going to keep it nice and lined up, nice and straight. So now what we're going to do is chain three, and we're going to repeat this row one more time. Turn your work. And again, I'm going to, this counts as a double crochet. I'm going to jump to this V-stitch, and I'm going to do another V-stitch. Like this. Jump to the next V stitch right here and do another V stitch just like that. And I'm just repeating the row that we just did. And you can see that the V stitch are, are all lining up. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this to the end. Okay, when you make it to the end, again, we're just going to double crochet into the top of this uh, chain down here to end that row. Now we got three rows of V stitches. There's one, two, three. So now we're going to chain three and turn our work again. Now we're going to kind of be doing the same thing, but we're just going to be like uh, doing, I think they're called like double V stitches. It's going to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to be working in the V stitches still. This time we're going to yarn over and we're going to put two double crochets in. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go back in and put two more doubles in the same spot. Like that. So it's still a V-stitch. It's just got two doubles, a chain one, and then two more doubles. And then you want to jump over to the next V-stitch and do it again. Two doubles. Chain one. And then two more doubles. Just like that. You jump to the next V stitch and repeat and you want to repeat this until you get to the end of the row. Okay, once you make it to the end of that row that we're working on doing the double V stitches. <clears throat> just go ahead and double crochet in this last chain. One double crochet, just like normal. Just like that. Now we're going to chain three and turn our work. And now we're going to repeat the row that we just did again. By jumping to the center of your next V stitch right here and doing a double V stitch, two doubles. Chain one and then two more doubles back in that same spot. Just like that jump over to the next one and do the same and I'm just gonna just we're just repeating the row we just did until we get to the end of the row
Okay, after I finished that row, I went I went on and did four rows of doing the double V stitches where there's two doubles, a chain one, and two doubles. So here's one, two, three, and four. So I did four rows total of that. Counting my three rows I did of this the regular V stitch. So now we're, I've, I've, I'm on, I just finished a row seven. So it was three rows of just regular V-stitch, and then I did four rows of the double V-stitch. And I just ended like normal with a double crochet in the chain. Now I'm gonna chain three and turn, just like normal. Now the rest of it is gonna be the same now. Okay, now what we're going to do for the rest of the cape, until we get it the length that we want it to be, we're going to be working still in the V-stitches, but this time we're going to be doing a triple V-stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to put three double crochets into that first V-stitch. So there's one, two, and three, and then we're going to chain one, go back in again, and put three more. So it's pretty easy. It's doing pretty much the same thing. All this is doing again is just making it a little bit uh, lighter, kind of to flare out over your arms a little bit. Just like that. So it's three doubles, a chain one, and three doubles. Jump to the next V-stitch and do it again. There's one double, two doubles, three doubles, chain one, one double, two doubles, and three doubles. jump to the next v-stitch and do it again and this is a pattern we're just going to keep repeating until we get it long you can make it as long or as short as you want and I'm not quite sure how many rows of this triple v-stitch that I'm going to do so I'm going to keep working on mine for a while and I'll let you know here in just a second how many total rows of this triple v-stitch that I do and then when I finished I'll probably put some type of edging on it but I'm going to keep working on this for now, and you keep working on yours for as long as you want your cape to be. Okay, I've done a total of 10 rows with the triple uh, V-stitches, so that brought me to a total of 17 altogether. So, But, I mean, you can make yours longer make it like a long long poncho if you want or long cape or you can make it like a little cape cape capelet or a cape it I don't know how they say it but this is a short one it's it's up to you however you want to do it okay I'm gonna go ahead and put a, like a collar around the top that's fine but we're gonna be working around this collar area here so you want to start over here on this side okay we're just gonna start like right here in this chain just kind of at the top of it. We're going to be working V-stitches again. Just the regular single V-stitches. But we're going to start out by chaining three. And this is where we're going to be working. If you look, you can see the V-stitches are kind of backwards now. See, this is upside down V. If you look right on top of it, that's the stitch we're going to be working in. So just go ahead and jump into it and put a V-stitch into that spot double crochet, chain one, go back in and double crochet, like that. And then we're going to jump to the next one. You can see here's an upside down V-stitch, this spot right here that it's worked, worked in. And we're going to another V-stitch. 
And this this is actually this kind of basically the same thing we've been doing. Just working V stitch for the for the hood. Jump over here to the next one. You can see it, the upside down V stitch. So right here in the same spot that that's in. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and jump to the next one. You have to kind of, kind of look for it here, right here. Here's the V-stitch from the top around, but it's just upside down. So we're going to be working right here in the same spot that this V-stitch is in. Double crochet, chain one. And then double crochet. And you want to do this, work and be stitch it like this, all the way around the whole top until you get back over here to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working that and I'll meet, you, meet up with you right back over here. Okay, I made it all the way around the top with my V stitches and I made it back to the other side. And now again, we're just going to um, double crochet into the top of this chain here. Just like we were doing before. Like that. That way it still keeps it lined up. Then we're going to chain three. And then turn. And we're just going to work across again repeating this row back and forth. It's just these V stitches back and forth just like we did on the big main piece. Only it's we're not going to do any increasing it's just going to be these regular V stitches the whole time. So kind of like that. Jump to the next V stitch right here. And do another V-stitch. And you want to go ahead and work a total of four rows for the collar. Okay, once I got my collar done, I'm going to go around the bottom and the sides and clean up all the edges. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to put border down here at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start right here in this, where I ended, or right here in this chain. And I'm going to start by chaining three. Like that. Now I'm going to jump over to this space, and I'm going to put nine double crochets in it. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, Probably gonna hate this yarn when you're done with it. Seven, eight, and nine. So that's like a large fan stitch that I just kind of did. And now I'm just gonna jump directly over to the next one. I want to put nine double crochets in that one. And I'm gonna do this in every single one of these. Uh, chain one spaces at the bottom. And there's nine. Like that. Jump over to the next one and do it again. 
So I'm going to work my way across the whole bottom, putting nine double crochets in each one of the V-stitch spaces. And I'm going to do it all the way until I get to the other side. And I'll meet you up right over here. Don't tie off or anything because we're just going to continue cleaning up the edges from here. So I'll just meet you up right over here. Meet back up with you right here at this last uh, V-stitch. Okay, I just did my last set of nine double crochets here across the bottom. Now I'm just going to double crochet again right here in this chain just like we kind of normally did before. Like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the whole side of the piece and along the collar and down the other side with a row of single crochet. So from here I'm just going to chain one. And now I'm going to work, and these aren't, you're going to be, it's going to be kind of hard to tell where the stitches go, but what you want to do is just kind of evenly space out single crochets across, or up the side here, just to kind of, uh, it'll clean up the edges and make the edge look, look uh, a lot nicer, more finished. So just do your best to kind of evenly space them out like that. It's not going to be perfect because they're hard to tell where they go. So See, I'm just kind of guessing like this. And you want to do this all the way up the whole side until you, I'll meet you back up here when you get to the collar. Okay. Okay, I made it all the way up this side here, and now I'm just going to continue going up the side of the collar with it, just to keep it all cleaned up, make it look nice. This yarn just drives me nuts sometimes. So I'm just doing the same thing up the side of the collar, just to clean up the edges on the collar. I'm going to go ahead and do like, let me look here, three single crochets in the corner of the collar, the top corner of each side. That way it keeps it nice and makes it go around the corner nice and clean. And then I'm just going to, all I'm going to do is continue this one single crochet across the whole top of the collar. And then to here, when I get to this top corner of this side of the collar, I'm going to put three single crochets. And then I'm going to continue this down this side of the collar and down the whole side of the cape. And then you should make it back to where you started. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. Okay, I'm here's where I started earlier. I'm back to the beginning here. And here's where I did that chain three. And then I started my nine doubles. I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet up this chain three here. Or down the chain three, I guess. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into the top stitch of it. Like that. So it matches the other side pretty well. And then I'm going to clip my yarn. And I'm going to hide all my tails real quick. Let's go ahead and sew them in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you what you can do with the, with the, once you get the collar on. Now, you can put it like this, and so, a one button, like right here. Or you can put multiple buttons all the way down the front. But what I'm going to do is, just a sec, I'm actually bringing mine over to the side here. If you want to do that, you can. And what you need to do is sew the button on 
here, like right through both of this, this the collar and the back piece, and then it'll you can use these as the button holes. So the button will be sewed on here, and at the same time, it's going to kind of sew the collar in place, and then it'll button right through here if you want to do that. I'm just going to put one button on it, but that's entirely up to you. Okay, to sew on a button, I'm just using a yarn needle and some of this yarn. If you find it easier to use um, a thread and needle, that's fine too. It's up to you, whatever which one you want to use. But all I'm going to do like, is just sew it with the collar down. I'm going to sew it through both these pieces, just like you would a regular button. I'm just going to sew it on. Okay, this is it. It's finished. I just use the v-stitch holes as a buttonhole that's it that's all there is to it and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial I hope you were able to follow along okay please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and you can come check me out on Facebook and you can post all your crochet items on there I'd really like to see them I'll put a link to my Facebook below in the description box and until next time have a good day